About me not graduating, it's true. I basically didn't graduate high school. I did went up to the 12th grade, <laughs> just that didn't actually, you know, made it all the way, like, to the finish line, like, almost there, <laughs> but no, it didn't turn out that way in the end. It sucks for me, but it really does, it sucks so much, a lot, and to be honest, if I could go back in time and wish that I could just, you know, graduate with my fellow classmates and friends and, you know, it was just so hard, really, really hard. It's not easy, you know, I was just, I was really going through a lot. Like so much, you don't even know. <sighs> Thank God. <sighs> yeah. I didn't graduate high school. Why? I don't know. I was. Just, it was really hard, going through so much and how much it sucks and. I do, like, I, I do want to graduate. I wanted to. I did. I just never thought it would be so hard. And the fact that, you know, I was going through a lot. I was very depressed. Like, like I've always been dealing with depression and anxiety. And being bipolar... And it's not just school and people that bully you, make fun of you, and stalk you, harass you, etc. But, like, you know, at home, too, you know? It wasn't just school, it was at home. They say don't let your personal life affect you at, you know, your work and school, you know, etc. And it's not just, you know, what's in school, what's going on inside, that people bully you and stuff. But, you know, what if your personal life at home, it does affect you emotionally or physically. And it, it messes with your head and you can't focus in school when you're learning, in your education, and you're trying to get your education. You're working hard to get it. But it's so hard. And the funny thing is, you know, well, it's not really funny, but not everyone graduates. Like, I'm not the only girl in the whole world that didn't finish school. They think everything is easy, especially if you're, you know, if you have Down syndrome, you know, learning, learning disability, have IEP and stuff. It's really hard for us, you know. I had IEP classes. I have a learning disability, and it was it's really hard for me to just, you know, focus sometimes. And I did the work, but I didn't know everything. It was hard to understand it, and the fact that I was a mother, and, well, I am a mom, you know. Being a, being a young mom, going to school, being depressed, and going through so much, and trying to study, and going through stuff at home, you know, you know, dealing with depression and how it can affect you a lot, being bipolar, having anxiety, having depression and dealing with it is like trying to survive and it's not easy dealing with that at all. Especially when, you know, you have, in school, basically I was being pressured to, um, not just do schoolwork, 
but to do community service in order to graduate. But I didn't do community service because I didn't know what to do. Like, I was trying to, like, to figure out what it meant that I figured that you had to volunteer, you know, help out and get credits. But, like, um, instead of volunteering in the school, we had to go out there in the world to just go to stores or anywhere, basically, volunteer without getting paid, basically. And we had to get, a, you know, paper and write down what we did and, you know, did we do it? How many hours was it? And to get our credits, like, oh, you did this? Okay, good. For the whole year until you graduate. And also a senior project. And I did the work. I did the work. I did the senior project. But I didn't get to present it. Why? A personal reason, which I do not want to speak of, because it's very personal and hard to talk about. I was really in a deep depression. I, I even, like... I barely went to school some days. I missed some days in school. And people that bully you and hurt you and guys that break your heart hurt you and use you. And going through emotional abuse. And not just people who say things to you that hurt you, but hurting yourself, harming your body, you know, cutting yourself, burning or stabbing your skin with a pencil or pen, anything. That could harm your arms, your hands, or, or legs. Just harming yourself. And also emotional abuse. When you, you know, say awful and awful and mean things to yourself. You're hurting yourself. And I was going through that. And being a mom and all that. Trying to focus in school, get my education. Like, I thought, yo, I'm going to do this. I was going to do it. You know, I can do better. Like, I was trying hard, especially when you have a learning disability. It's really hard, you know, like, I'm not that smart, so it was really hard for me to learn math, science, reading, and English class, and I think history as well. Like, it was really, really hard, like, learning all that, processing it in my head. It's like, once my teacher told me, it's like, you can hear me, but you don't really hear me, you know? Yeah, this is really hard. That's the reason why, like, reasons that I, you know, couldn't graduate or felt like, you know, I wasn't worthless. Like, like I couldn't amount to anything, you know. It sucks a lot. I didn't want to be a failure. I didn't want to be a disappointment. And I know, like, like... Part of my family thinks that I'm just a big failure. <laughs> and I don't want to be a failure. I do feel ashamed of not graduating. And I thought I was going to make it. I thought I was. But I didn't. Like, I didn't. You know, it didn't happen. It sucks for me, right? And it's been a couple years now, and I'm trying to see if I can get a job. I think my mom says it's called you work under the table kind of thing for people that don't have diplomas, you know. But I'm not the only girl in the world you know, that didn't graduate. There are people who didn't even come to like high school they just didn't finish middle school and there are lots of people out there who didn't finish school and they're already famous but who knows what the future will hold for me beyond right now I mean I'll never know until I try I guess and yeah People think it's stupid. My reason for not graduating is probably stupid, but it's not to me. It really isn't stupid to me. It's not. It isn't stupid for being depressed 
and going through so much and feeling so overwhelmed by things especially when you have these mood swings that change a lot it's like sometimes I don't even know what my, my feelings can change sometimes like my mood changes from sad for a while to angry to depressed and then later on I'm like okay I'm happy again I'm okay now kind of thing or sometimes like like I overthink things a lot <laughs> I will talk about that in my next video though, about bipolar, depression, anxiety, stuff like that, cutting, yeah. Anyway, bye guys, like this video, give it a thumbs up, if you like it, um, you know, comment down below, I mean, what you want me to talk about, like story times, you know, LGBT topics, um, anything you want me to talk about, like something real. Or like being pregnant, um, being a mom in school, being an emo teen. Because I know when I was in high school, I was like an, like an emo girl since I was like 12 years old. <laughs> anyway, bye guys. See you next time during the video. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. You know, hit that like button. Subscribe. <laughs> Peace out, my beautiful people. Love you guys. And bye. <laughs>